Hey Cyberdogs! As everyone now knows, the sun is setting on the Survival 5 world. We want to express our deepest thanks for everyone who's punched the clocks on the Dogcraft server over this past season. Truly, you've made some stunning builds. Thank you so much! As is tradition, we're pleased to now announce that you are now allowed to make downloads of your builds. Today, we're going to walk you through the process of how to download your builds using a special Java tool on PC or Mac. Before we start, you'll first need to have Java 17 or higher installed on your computer. Minecraft runs on Java, but the version of Java you use to run Minecraft comes bundled with the game. So even though your computer can run Minecraft, it might not actually have the latest version of Java installed. The easiest way to get Java is to simply head to this thing from Oracle's website and download the installer for your platform. Follow the steps on the installer to download and install Java to your system, then restart your computer if you are asked to do so. Next, we'll need to download the tool we are using. You can get the tool by downloading it from this link on GitHub. Regardless of whether or not you're on Windows or Mac OS, simply download the jar file. I recommend placing the downloaded executable in a new folder. Here you can see I've placed it into a folder in my documents directory. Now open the program. If you get a warning from Windows Security or Microsoft Smart Screen on Windows, click through it and run it anyway. With the app open, you're almost ready to start downloading your world. The way this program works is that it intercepts the world data that is being sent to you by the dogcraft.net server and downloads it onto your computer, letting you download worlds without having to install mods. It's very important to note that you should only download builds from one world at a time. By this I mean that if you have things on multiple worlds, you shouldn't make downloads for both of them on the same file, otherwise data may be overwritten or lost. To be safe, use the world naming feature to organize your downloads. Configuring this tool is nice and easy. First, head to the World tab on the tool. For the name, you should enter the name of the download you are making. If you'd like to neatly blend your downloads in with your natural generation of one of the Survival 6 worlds, you can enter the world seed here when they've been released. Be sure to enter the correct seed for the world you're downloading. Please check the announcements channel for the seeds at a later date. Finally, head back to the connection tab and enter into the server address bar the IP of Dogcraft, server.dogcraft.net. You should avoid touching any other settings as they're not officially recommended by us and may cause you some issues. Now all you need to do is open up Minecraft 1.19.4. With the program configured, press Start, the program will prepare for downloading. Now, on Minecraft, don't join dogcraft.net. Instead, on the multiplayer menu, click Direct Connect and enter the address localhost. Click Join Server and you will be put onto dogcraft.net. You can now use the menu to join one of the Survival 5 worlds, Corgi, Shepherd, Labrador, or Akita. Then navigate to where you want to download. Once you've walked to where you want to start downloading, you should click on the map and select Delete all downloaded chunks. Then click Yes at the prompt. This prevents your download from including stuff like the server lobby and random bits of land from where you last logged off. You can now start walking around where you'd like to download. Like the world downloader mod you may have used before, the contents of chests and other inventory objects will only be saved if you open them. Sometimes doing this will result in a warning that the chunk isn't loaded, but usually you can just safely ignore this. You can check the interactive map on the tool to view which chunks you've downloaded. Note that the map can sometimes be a little inaccurate. Purple chunks are ones currently loaded from which data is being sent to your computer and downloaded. If you'd like to pause downloading, right click on the map and select Pause Download. Right click again and click the Resume button to resume the download. Once you're done with your download, right click on the map and click Save and Exit. You will be disconnected from the server. The downloaded world will be saved in the same directory as you've placed the world downloader tool jar file. As a reminder, you shouldn't change dimension or server with download. Instead, save and exit from the download and repeat the process of starting a new download. 
You can now check that your download has completed successfully by copying the downloaded world into your saves folder in your .minecraft directory and opening it as a single player world. As was done with previous worlds, the Dogcraft Wiki invites you to upload your downloads to help archive and preserve the history of the server. To upload a world download, simply right click and zip the completed download and drag it into the Google Drive folder linked in the announcements channel and on the wiki page. You should make sure your download is nice and clean first and should give the zipped folder a descriptive name that includes your username so that it can easily be identified by the wiki team. The wiki team would like to thank you for your contributions. I hope this video has helped you get your head around how to download and preserve your memories of the dogcraft.net survival 5 worlds. As a reminder, the use of tools like this are not normally allowed, only at the end of a season during the pre-update window. When Survival 6 comes around, you'll not be allowed to use this tool. That's all from us today at the CDNN. Thank you! Please look forward to tons more CDNN content next season. We're super excited to see you there. See you next time, Cyberdogs. See ya. Bye. Bye.